Welcome back to my channel. You know, I cleared off a, I cleared off an area down on my other property down here. And um, what I want to do is organize all my logs and according to their age for, for firewood or even for making into timbers or something. So you can see I got all these timbers here, all these over here, and then I have another pile down there. Now what I got to do is I've got to I've got to separate these according to how dry they are. And what I'm going to use is I'm going to use this general uh, moisture meter. And what I'll do, some logs I know the age of them. Like there's one pile down here. I know those are fresh. So I'll stack those to the left. And then, I, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a, uh, basically down here on this lower property, I have a little pad out there. And I'm going to organize all these logs according to their moisture readings. And then I'm going to use that area to set up my wood splitter and be able to start cutting firewood down there. So any mess from firewood, I'll, be, I'll put down there. Anyway, yeah, moisture meter. This is the general uh, wood range, 5% to 50%. So, and then once we get that done, we'll, um, then we'll know which logs we can process right away. So today it's all about moving all the logs to one location. Anyway, yeah, let's get started. Get dope. I can't get no sleep, which make my life more simple But I wouldn't trade a thing for what I have I go hard, do what I need to make it last They say the good die young, I hope I'm bad Cheers to my past So right here, this is the general uh, moisture meter And... The model number is MMD4E. And basically this pile of logs right here, I just cut. So I wanted to see what's the moisture reading on the outside of these logs. And these logs were reading about 17 to 19% moisture. And I just cut this pile down not too long ago. So you can see, so that's the outside of those logs. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this pile of logs into a location where we know we just have to let these sit for about a couple more years before we can use them for firewood. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, um, I, I checked a few of these and they were all reading like 15 to 19%. Right here, I'm going to just take my excavator and I'm going to move this. I'm, I'm setting up a new little, um, a new area to that I'm going to, is kind of going to be a permanent area to do firewood processing. And it's kind of going to be away from my house down here on this property. Um, but I'm still going to, I'm going to set it back in between these trees right here. That way I can still drive in front of it and around it. And basically I just go through and I, I pick up these logs two or three at a time and move them over there. By the way, I do grease this machine every eight hours. So I'm surprised it's still pretty squeaky. When they're brand new, they do have quite a few squeaks um, just because they're new and the grease has to kind of get in all those joints. But I do grease it really good every eight hours. So for those of you listening to these squeaks, um, I do maintain the excavator pretty good.
Now this upper location with, with all these logs up here is where some three-year-old logs are. And what I'm gonna do is use the moisture meter and try to pick out the lowest um, moisture reading. And that should be the oldest logs, it should be three years old. And um, yeah, so right here, I'm basically gonna go back in here and see if I can't find some um, that I can that I can cut up and use for. I need to start stacking firewood and I need to use these older logs. And um, you can see right back in here, these ones that are have no bark on them, the bark usually falls off by itself when they get older. So right there I'm testing that one and it read about 5%, which I'm assuming that that's, that's my oldest log in there. And um, I should have probably I don't know, 25 or 30 of these logs that are around 5% or, or low moisture reading. Anyway, that's what I'm checking right here. And then once I find a few of these, I'm going to take them down and get set up to start chopping some of the firewood at this new location. And um, basically what I'll do is each time I find a, um, every time I need to chop some wood, I'll come up and grab one that has a low moisture reading and then take it down and, and start cutting them up and splitting them. Now right here I started cutting um, this dry log right here. This is a this log's about five percent, and I started cutting it, and I realized it's not throwing out really good chips uh, from my chainsaw. So that means it needs to be sharpened. So I, I went ahead and cut through this. It took a little time because the chainsaw blade wasn't that sharp, and I basically um, after I chopped this one. I went up to my garage and uh, I sharpened this bit, this chainsaw blade. Right here you can see after sharpening it, watch the chips start flying out. A lot better chips. And that's what you kind of want with your chainsaw. 
Yeah, those are those are doing a lot better. I'm using a Husqvarna 445 that I've had for about three years. And I've been so happy with it that I am going to get another chainsaw. And I'm probably going to get a, a little bit bigger Husqvarna. But this thing's really been working good. And um, I've had good success with it. Right here I'm using the split fire uh, wood splitter. It's a dual, it splits both ways. And it makes quick work of, of these little logs. And this particular wood splitter is made in Canada. And I've been really happy with it. I had it probably three years now.
And there you go, a new, a new wood processing area. And um, yeah, using the, the, using the moisture meter helps. But even this, even this last couple logs that I did, the moisture reading on the outside was pretty low, about 5%. But when I split them open, they were, uh, they were about 15% inside. So anyway, this is the, the moisture meter. Yeah, it's a general MMD4E. It was pretty good, it worked pretty good. But I think, I think if you, you know, get the moisture reading as low as possible before you split the wood, and um, I think after splitting it, splitting them in small pieces, they'll dry out pretty quick anyway. And I've got, I've got quite a few months to let them dry out. This last one that I cut, I think it was about three years old, or that I split, I think it was about three years old. So it should have been dry, um, but it was still had some moisture content in the middle. Anyway, you know, thank you very much for for um, subscribing and watching the videos. I really appreciate it. And um, yeah, I'm gonna go stack this little firewood and keep, keep on splitting some more. Anyway, thanks again. And uh, yeah, I will see you next time. Later. Work hard, get dough. I can't get no sleep, which make my life more simple.